so welcome back to our channel and today i'm going to be doing an extremely ridiculously long product empties video for you guys this video is way long overdue there's way too many products in this bag i think i've been collecting trash for pretty much six months and for those of you who don't know what an empties video is it's basically me going through my trash and products that are worth repurchasing or products that i don't think are worth repurchasing I love these empties videos because you get to see products that I went through completely because I know how hard it is to completely go through products and when they get to be empty you can give a real little mini review on whether it was worth the purchase or not. I'm not kidding when I say I have a ton of products here. I'm not exaggerating. So as you can see this is the evidence. I don't want you guys to think I have a serious problem when it comes to products because this is over the course of like six to eight months. Like I've been collecting these products for a while just so that I can make this video for you guys but I didn't realize it would be this many products so it's gonna be a long one okay starting with whatever's at the top of the bag because I'm not going in any particular product type of order so first I have this body wash here this is currently my favorite body wash this is the Dove Sensitive Skin Hypoallergenic body wash I've been through about two of these now is one in my shower currently I love this product you guys so for those of you who don't know I have been using fragrance free products a lot recently because I realized that my skin is very sensitive to fragrance and sometimes I do use fragrance products but they're lightly fragranced when it comes to like body care but this is for sure a holy grail product that I will continue to repurchase it's just really gentle it doesn't like irritate my skin it has like a really nice lather I feel really clean afterwards it doesn't dry my skin out so it's just an all-in-all -all great product that I will continue to buy over and over again as you can see I always get this bottle because I go through it so fast I use this every single day in the shower love this next body wash I recently mentioned in our favorites video that we just did and this is the method body pure peace body wash and this is the pink one this one to me smells the best it has like a really like light rosy smell even though this has peonies at the top of the notes I feel like I mostly smell rose it has peony rose water and pink sea salt it has a very like dainty feminine really beautiful smell to it even though it's from Target and it's like their method body wash line this smells a lot more like high-end than the price so if you're looking for a very lightly fragranced body wash that's not too too scented because some drugstore body washes can tend to be too fragrant which is why I stopped using them and again like I said they irritate my skin. This one wonderful they have some other scents that you may like but I highly recommend this particular one. Pure Peace let me know if you like it when you go to Target. Another body wash that has fragrance that I actually do recommend if you still want to dabble in fragrance body washes. I have two of the Olay body washes that I mentioned I think last winter. This was like my holy grail like winter body wash last year. This is the Olay Ultra Moisture Shea Butter Body Wash. This one is really good too because like I said it's not too fragrance but it has the bathroom smelling pretty amazing. So I love the smell of this one. Honestly, I feel like most of the Olay body washes are way too fragrant. They just kind of give me a headache. But this one is by far their best one next to the exfoliating one. I forgot the name of that one. I think it's like the sea salt one. That one's really nice also. But like the other ones, I feel like they're way too fragrant. So the Shea Butter one is by far the best though because I feel like it made my skin feel really soft. I'm sure that's because of the Shea Butter. So I highly recommend these. They're bomb. Another really good body wash that I found in here is this Nivea Cream Moisture one. This is the moisturizing body wash. Honestly, if I had to choose between this one and the Olay one, I would still choose the Olay one. This one is really good. It's just not amazing, you know. It's a nice body wash. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. Next, we're on to a hair product, and I finally finished this Real Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. You guys know that Real Geo is one of my favorite hair care brands just because they don't use a lot of harsh ingredients. So they don't have sulfates, silicones, or parabens, and I feel like products like that really work well with my hair type. And this Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask is a holy grail mask of mine. If you guys have been following mine and Kelsey's channel for a while, you know how important hair masking is. And this one is by far one of the best I've tried. This does a really good job at detangling. I have less breakage. Like this is top notch if you want to maintain or achieve healthy hair. So if you're looking for a new hair mask and you're not sure about it, just take my word for it. Next we have a dental product. This is the TheraBreath Dentist Formulated uh, Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. 
So the green one is not my favorite. This is the mild mint one. I think my favorite one is probably the dark blue one. But I do like this overall brand because sometimes um, Listerine, I feel like it can be extremely intense. And I don't always feel like I need that. Even though I do still use Listerine, this is like a really good everyday mouthwash because it's like good for everything. So it says targets bad breath, germs, no alcohol, artificial flavor or color. And if you're someone who has like sensitive gums or whatever, um, this one is non-burning. I don't have sensitive gums, but I always wanted to try this brand. And ever since I started, I've been just continuing to buy the blue one, the dark blue one, which I really love. This one is okay. I don't really like the mild mint flavor. I like a more minty flavor. Okay, so I'm seeing some skincare in here, so I just picked up a lot of it at once. So this first product is from Paula's Choice. This is the Pore Normalizing Cleanser. I use this as a body wash because I like to use some kind of salicylic acid body wash as like my first wash in the shower. Because if you guys don't know, salicylic acid um, is really pore unclogging. So I feel like it does a really good job at like making me feel like really clean and refreshed. And also in the summertime, hair product gets on my back and washes like this just keeps my back clear um because if you use like a ton of like curly hair products curly girls know like it can tend to break you out like on your back so this did a really good job the only downside is it's only six ounces and i went through it way too fast so the product that i was repurchasing over and over to use as my first body wash is the cerave renewing sa cleanser this is their salicylic acid cleanser and this is probably my favorite like first body wash like wash in the shower obviously this is a facial cleanser but i've been using these as body washes and i'm obsessed with the, the cerave brand in general they've just done a really good job with creating products for people with sensitive skin but also done a really good job at including actives and this one i love doesn't have a smell it's a nice like clear gel so if you guys are looking for a body wash and a face wash this could be like your dual product really really good salicylic acid like i said again so good for the skin if you have like blemish prone acne prone skin next product i have is an actual skincare product so the lighting is probably too bright in my bathroom because some of the lighter products are hard to see but this is the aven restorative protective cream i've been through quite a few of these and this product in particular is really good for sensitive skin it's multi-purpose you can pretty much use it everywhere i only use it on my face as like a moisturizer it's like a thicker cream and i squeeze every last bit out of this because this product is not the cheapest but it's really really effective it does a really good job at like protecting my skin barrier and it's really moisturizing it kind of seals everything in i also like to layer this on top of my regular moisturizer in the winter months so you can use this as a, as a moisturizer or just to Put on top of like your whole skincare routine which like i said i sometimes do love this product and not all of events product are fragrance free but i do know that this one is so make sure like you read the fine print because this one in particular is fragrance free you guys know i only use fragrance free products on my face all the time like 100 percent like i'm just very anal when it comes to my skincare products like for my face because my skin is so sensitive like the slightest thing will break it out and i know for a fact that this does not break me out and it's weird because a lot of like thicker products do break my skin out but this one does not so i'm going to continue to use this probably forever next i have another body wash slash face wash product this is the panoxyl acne foaming wash it's benzoyl peroxide and this is the maximum strength is 10 percent this is a really good benzoyl peroxide face wash I just recently bought the CeraVe benzoyl peroxide, which only has 4%, but this one, even though it's 10% maximum strength, it did not irritate my skin. So if you are looking for a really good benzoyl peroxide face wash, I recommend the CeraVe or the Panoxyl one. I don't really prefer one over the other since I've used both of them so far. Next, I have a cleanser from the brand Different. This is their daily refreshing cleanser. Um, I also use this as a body wash. I would not say it's worth repurchasing. It didn't really do much. It didn't do anything bad either. I just wasn't impressed. I didn't see any kind of drastic difference with this. Next, I have a Holy Grail product here. This is from the brand Biosense. This is their 100% squalane oil. This is phenomenal for your body. You can mix it with pretty much any body lotion, body cream, whatever you like. 
it just does an amazing job at like sealing in like your body moisturizer that you use also if something is too thick you can just mix this in with it and it just kind of smooths everything in like butter so i really really love this oil also everybody cannot use every kind of body oil because some like clog your pores some like just make your skin feel sticky and gross this doesn't do that this one is just like really just lightweight and fast absorbing which is why i constantly go back to this one over and over and i would consider this a holy grail product so love the squalane oil from biosense okay so next i have some hair dyes this is from the brand pravana and a lot of you guys asked kelsey and i what black hair dye we use even though uh, my hair is dark, dark brown, like you, you can barely tell that it's brown unless I'm like in the sun, I still like to dye it like a really dark, intense black just because it looks like a lot more like even and I just like the look of completely like black hair, almost blue black. This one was the color N1, well one N, and this is a permanent hair dye and this one does a really good job at covering up grays. And I've been getting gray hair since I was like in like my mid to late 20s. So I obviously had strings of gray before turning 30 last year. And this does a really good job at covering them up. And I highly recommend this brand in particular because some like drugstore box dyes don't last a long time. Like they work when you first use them, but then you're like, okay, why does it look like it's fading? This one lasts a really long time. I get mine off Amazon. So this is the Chroma Silk from Pravana. This is like a really good hair dye. And I'm assuming this is probably like one of the salon brands. And it ha has silk and keratin proteins in it. So it does a good job at like maintaining the health of your hair. Because obviously hair dye isn't good for the hair, but it's still helpful to have like good ingredients, you know? Um, so this one is really, really good. Okay, so next I have some Audra Beauty hair products. And I really love this brand. Kelsey and I fell in love with the Blue Tansy line last year. And here I have the Blue Tansy Reparative Conditioner. Um, love the conditioner. I tend to go through conditioners the fastest, of course, because that's mostly what I use in the shower, especially when my hair is curly. But I actually like this for my straight and curly hair. It did not make my hair greasy at all. And this Blue Tansy line is really good because it's reparative. And I tend to like reparative products because they just help prevent breakage and you know help prevent split ends and stuff nothing gets rid of split ends you got to put those off but after you get like a fresh haircut this line is amazing to maintain like your hair and this conditioner i love but the star of the show not gonna lie is the hair mask i've gone through more than two of these of course this is the blue tansy reparative mask and these are really good for damaged and color treated hair I know not all hair products um, you can use on color treated hair makes your color fade faster. So this is color safe and of course it's really good for strengthening and repairing. So this line is really, really good if you're looking for something like that. Also the actual formula of this conditioner was so thick. I love like a good thick, thick deep conditioner because I actually wanted to feel like a treatment. Like I can't stand those deep conditioners that feel like a regular conditioner just feels like a waste of money. So I have some more body care to talk about. I found these in here, these Cremo body washes that Kelsey put me onto. These are in the men's section at Target. And as soon as I smelled these, I immediately thought Lilabo is overpricing some of their stuff because most of their body washes like these smell like Lilabo. Like, especially this uh, reserve collection one, the Palo Santo, incredible. When I tell y'all this smells pretty much identical to the Lilabo products, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. It smells like Christmas because I remember I was using this body wash during the holidays and it's just making me so happy inside. Love, love this Cremo brand. These aren't too overpowering either. Like I said, I like lightly scented body products, so these aren't too strong. And I tend to like uh, men's body washes as well. I feel like they do a really good job at getting me clean and stuff. They're a little bit more drying, but I still enjoy men's body washes. And the other one that I liked is the Distillers Blend. This one smells like straight up tequila. Smells like summer. I know it sounds random, but this one, um, the note says it's Kentucky bourbon, smoked vetiver, and American oak. So it has like a boozy kind of smell. It doesn't smell like bourbon to me because I do drink bourbon and it don't smell like that. Um, I also drink tequila. And it smells just like tequila to me. Oh, it smells so, so good. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing that I love that it smells like tequila. And I also have some Dove body washes here that I finished. You guys know Dove is probably my favorite 
body care brand at the drugstore. I will forever buy Dove. Love Dove. So this first one here, I think they made like after, you know, COVID and stuff because this is the antibacterial protect skin from dryness body wash. That's not the name. It's just antibacterial. But this says care and protect and I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same formula as all their other scents. They just rebranded it as antibacterial. But this one was still really good to me. It was like a nice everyday, really refreshing one. It has like a nice light like aloe kind of scent. If you ever tried like the one with the aloe in it, very similar to the antibacterial. It's pretty much the same thing. The gentle exfoliating one is also really good. Um, but it's a lot thicker. Um, like the actual... A formula it just feels more creamy with beads in it so this one is nice for winter it says with sea minerals so if you guys are looking for something creamier and like dual purpose if you don't like to do the extra step of exfoliating you would really like this one so this one was really good also but another one of my top favorites along with the sensitive skin one has to be hands down the deep moisture one I've been using the deep moisture body wash from Dove for 10 plus years this is probably one of my favorites I think this is like the OG one also, and it's always just as good as the last time I used it. And for some reason, this one smells the best. It's something about the smell of this one that's really nostalgic. It smells just like the shampoo and conditioner um, from Dove, and it just, uh, it smells so, so good. It's creamy. It's a light floral smell. It's just weirdly very sexy. I know that sounds weird because it's a Dove body wash, but... It's really, really nice. Uh, I feel like none of the other scents are topping the deep moisture. Sometimes I feel like drugstore body washes do the most with like their scents, but this one is just perfect. So these are the best to me, besides the sensitive one. So this is the other Olay body wash that I was talking about, the one with the blue top. So it's blue and white. This is the Exfoliating Moisture Sea Salt one. I love this one if you guys are looking at the Olay ones. The Shea Butter one and the Sea Salt one are the only ones worth repurchasing to me because I have tried other scents from them and they're just a little too strong for me. But these two are by far the best. This is like very light and fresh. I love like a light fresh scent for like the shower. And this one is by far like that fresh smell that I like. So Kelsey actually gave this to me and she just ordered like a bunch of the scents and this was the one that I liked the most. This is called Black Tide from the brand Salterre and this one was really really nice. I don't know where she uh, found this brand but this one smells really similar to like those cream body washes that, that I was talking about earlier. I don't even know like how much this was. She just bought like multiples of them. Not this scent but a bunch of different types of scents but this black tide one is really really nice and it has really good ingredients i think that, that she bought these based on the ingredients because it has like squalene oil in here it has brazilian nut oils hyaluronic acid so it's supposed to have all these replenishing nourishing ingredients so this was like really nice and it was like a treat for my skin i didn't use it every day but i felt like this was like my special body wash you know the body wash in the shower that you don't use like is your daily wash you just use it on the weekends or something. That's what this was for me. But this Saltair brand has like a lot of different scents. Um, this scent for me is very like clean but warm. It has like a low key like a peppery undertone. Not in a bad way but like a more masculine kind of way. Speaking of good ingredients, this Bioderma Body Cream. This is their Ultra Nourishing Cream for normal to dry sensitive skin. This is probably one of my favorite body creams that I've tried. Even though it comes in like a pump like lotion kind of bottle. This is for sure a body cream. It's super nourishing. It's really good for the skin barrier. The whole family can use it. And I did not know they had Bioderma and Target until Kelsey and I were like in that section of Target one day. And I saw they had these because for a while I was just getting mine off of Amazon. And I just love, love this product. They also have an even thicker one. But if you want something like this, just like the perfect texture, this is amazing. It gives you that nice glow and it combines well with body oils like my squalene oil that I talked about earlier. So I love this product if you guys are looking for a really good staple like fragrance free body cream. This is amazing. Like my skin just loves this stuff. Now a body product that I thought I was obsessed with until I tried the Bioderma was this Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. This is a really good lotion but it's still not as good as the Bioderma. I feel like once I went to that one, I was just hooked and I didn't wanna try, I didn't wanna go back to the other ones that I was using, this being one of them. So this is good. Is it amazing? 
no but it is really good and it's fragrance free if you guys are looking for a good drugstore fragrance free product the only downside is that i'm not a fan of the weird oatmeal smell so i would not repurchase this especially for that reason another lotion that i used to be obsessed with was the nivea essentially enriched body lotion you guys know this was a holy grail of mine for a long 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 time still a really good lotion but I just feel like the Bioderma still works best as well as my Cetaphil body cream that I also love. So this is still really good. I'm just on to other things now. Another really good lotion that is comparable to Nivea that's pretty much identical is this Eucerin one. This is their Intensive Repair Lotion and this is the Rich Formula. And y'all this is basically Nivea lotion but a different brand and name because if you pump both of these in each hand, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference besides the smell. The Nivea has like a certain smell that this one does not have. So this one has alpha hydroxy and natural moisturizing factors. Love this one. Another good fragrance free product that's really good from the drugstore. So I have some more hair products here. I have this hair mask from Aveda and this is the Nutriplenish Treatment Mask Deep Moisture version because they have a light one and a deep moisture. This one is really, really good. I have tried the light one, but the deep moisture one is by far my favorite, especially for my hair type. So if you guys have really thick hair and you have a lot of it, this was a really good mask. Made my hair super soft, felt very nourished. I love the formula of this one, like very whippy and like has like the perfect like texture. Also, I love the smell of the Vegas products. They smell like a spa. Also, if you guys are looking for a hair mask that you can use on curly hair and straight hair, this one I love. And if you guys have been following this channel for a while, you know this is Holy Grail status. This is my favorite hair gel for my curls. This is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Don't really need to say much else besides been using it for 10 plus years. So there you go. Okay, I have some skincare to talk about. And this is my favorite cleansing balm. This is from the brand The Inky List. And this is the Oak Cleansing Balm. I've been using this one for almost probably a year now. I don't think I've used any other like pre-cleanse besides this one for at least a year because my skin reacted really well to this one my skin doesn't really like a lot of emollient things meaning like super thick oily products in this one hands down is my holy grail it's super affordable like 10 bucks and i'm going to continue to purchase this to remove my makeup it doesn't sting my eyes it gets rid of like all the mascara like every trace of makeup this gets rid of it i am going to do a nighttime skincare routine soon for you guys this probably will always be my first step in my skincare routine just because this oat cleansing balm has not disappointed me so love this product if you guys are looking for a cleansing balm this is the best one in my opinion and it's cheap so the next few products i have are from my favorite skincare line which is skin better and I have here their cleansing gel. This is like their gel cleanser. So this is a lot for a lot of people who use this line, their first cleanse, but this is my morning cleanser. And I'm not gonna lie, their cleansers are kind of pricey. So if you don't wanna purchase products from Skin Better, I would skip the cleansers. But if you do wanna try the cleansers, they are worth it. They're just kind of pricey for some cleansers. I do love this cleanser. Super, super gentle, has a great formula, gives like a nice, like sudsy lather doesn't dry out your skin it's just like a really good overall product i love this line i discovered this line about i think like six almost eight months ago i found this line when i found the dallas esthetician she's on instagram and she talks about these products a lot and i just fell in love ever since i started using them so this is a really good like gentle gel cleanser if you guys are into gel cleansers and you want a bougie one that's a medical grade brand that's actually worth worth it Skin better is where it's at. Now the cleanser that I think between their two cleansers is like more the most effective when it comes to something like original and that you can't really get anywhere else. That is gonna have to be the Refresh Cleanser. This is their Oxygen Infusion Wash. This Oxygen Infusion Wash Cleanser is bomb. If you use it as like your second cleanse um, after your first cleanse, like your cleansing balm or whatever first cleanse you like to go in with, this being the second cleanse where you like actually deep clean the skin, this is phenomenal. If you leave it on for like a full minute and then rinse it off, you're going to see like a really nice glow on the skin because it has AHAs in it. So it does have actives in it. So that's why I think this one is more worth it than the cleansing gel. So highly recommend this. I will continue to use this just not for a while because I just don't feel like spending this much money on cleansers. So right now I'm currently using CeraVe cleansers. But 
Hands down, this is Skin Better's best cleanser. Love this. Next, I have the Sun Better Advanced Mineral Protection Tone Smart Sunscreen. This is Brush Spectrum SPF 75. And I love the sunscreen, but it is a pain in the ass to blend in. It takes forever. You have to like massage and pat, and it's just like a whole thing. But it does an amazing job at protecting your skin from the sun. And since I've been using this, I have less dark spots. My skin looks more even. It's just really annoying to work into the skin if you're like of darker skin complexion. So I hope they like create another version of this that's even better for people of color. Cause even though eventually it does like match your skin tone, it just takes more work and people don't be feeling like doing all that in the morning. And I just wish the formula was a little bit more convenient for darker complexions, but it is a really, really good product. Next, I have the retinol that I really like from them. This is the Alpha Ret Clearing Serum, and this is the one with salicylic acid in it. I've gone through so many of these, and this one is really good for like blemish prone skin, oily skin like mine, and this is really, really good at like maintaining like this smooth, poreless look that I obviously am addicted to. Like, I have not, not used retinols in about like maybe five, six years. Like I've been using retinols for a while, but since I started using this one, like it just changed the game for me. I don't think I'll go back to using like other brands of retinol um, besides like my prescription for my dermatologist. This is still a really good one to incorporate into your skincare routine. Um, and it's so funny because for the longest time, I didn't realize that Alpha Red like from Skin Better meant AHAs and retinol combined, which is really cute like play on words so alpha rest ingredients are formulated for like multiple actives to work together i do not recommend using actives like separate products and then mixing them on your skin don't do that but this product is like specifically formulated to work like that so i love the clearing serum really good i don't recommend it every single day if you have sensitive skin because it does tend to sting but i say like three times a week this is phenomenal and then I have here my favorite moisturizer. This is the Skin Better Trio Rebalancing Moisture Treatment. This is incredible. It's like a silky smooth lotion. And they describe it as lightweight but heavy formula, meaning like it's lightweight but your skin still feels really nourished. And I'm someone who likes a lightweight moisturizer but not so light to the point where I don't feel like I have anything on. Like I like to feel like my skin is nice and nourished just because like I said my skin is sensitive so I like something that feels really nourishing so this is my holy world moisturizer if you guys are wondering like what moisturizer I use this is skin better one so here I have two deodorants that I went through these were like my nighttime deodorants because I don't like to use like any kind of like aluminum um deodorant while I sleep I like that for like when I go out in the public because I feel like I need more protection from you know sweat and stuff um but at home like at night when i sleep i like to use like a more natural deodorant so this is from the brand mason louise marie this is their number four balancourt that's french i can't say that um but this basically smells like lalabo but i don't think he did a great job at like stopping the sweat at night because sometimes i do have night sweats sometimes um it smells really good but when i repurchased it no it didn't really you know impress me one that i did like but i hated the formula is the necessary the deodorant eucalyptus i love this deodorant they do have a more like clear formula now which is nice but this one was like the lotiony kind when you like twist it up and the cream comes out uh, i don't really like that part about it but i do like this one better than the other one i just mentioned if you guys are looking for a natural deodorant this one worked really really good i haven't tried it like out in the public in like you know the hot you know southern heat so i don't know about all that next i have my holy grail body scrub this is the bump eraser body scrub the kp body scrub from first day beauty i've gone through way more than two of these these are just the two that i have here this is my all-time favorite body scrub you guys know i stopped using tree hut body scrubs a while ago um just because they were just too overly fragrant for my skin and since I started using this, like I will never go back because my skin is super soft when I use this. I love how fine the beads are. They're not too abrasive. This product is fragrance free. It's just an all around like amazing product. It just checks every box for the perfect body scrub. It's just bomb. Okay, so I have a body oil here from Avino and this is the Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist. This is the oat oil plus jojoba oil. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was very impressed with this product and I will, and if I would repurchase any product from Aveeno, it would for sure be this one. I was shook because I wasn't expecting much from it because I'm really picky when it comes to body oil. And this was nice. It also has a really nice like a warm jojoba smell. Cause like I said, a lot of Aveeno's products have like that weird oatmeal smell and this one did not have that. And I really like the formula of this. Like it gave a nice like glow. It wasn't too sticky. It was just really, really good. So if y'all see this product, get it. Another body oil that I got through was the Bio Oil. And as hyped up as this is, I'm not a huge fan of it. It says it gets rid of scars and stretch marks and uneven skin tone. It don't do none of that. I just feel like it's just kind of like gimmicky. It makes people think that it does that. So people continue to purchase it. It has like a lavender scent. So if you're like allergic to essential oils, don't get this. Um, I just wanted to use it up because I don't want to waste it, but I would not repurchase bio oil, just my opinion. Next is the shaving cream from EOS and this is their Shea Better Shave Cream Lavender Scent. This one was really good, but since I started using the Aveeno shaving cream, I don't think I would go back to this one. Even though EOS is a really good shaving cream brand, like if you're looking at all the shaving cream brands, this one and Aveeno by far are the best in the drugstore, but I still prefer Aveeno. Next, I have two of my Honey Pot Feminine Washes, and I love both of these. This was the normal one, and this is the sensitive one. They work the same to me, so if you see one or the other, I don't really see a difference. They both have like a light scent, but I wouldn't say that they're like super fragrant. They don't irritate the pH or anything down there, but I do like having a wash specifically for my JJ and Honey Pot is probably the best line in my opinion for that because some of the other ones I feel like they just make things worse down there. In this one, I haven't had any issues. So love the Honey Pot. This is like a foam wash. It's not like a cream or a gel. It's really like gentle. So I really, really love the Honey Pot feminine washes. I have two of my favorite lip balms. You guys know since I got on Leno Lips, I haven't used any other lip balm since. This is the Leno Lips 101 ointment. And this is the coconut or scent. They have other flavors that I'm currently using. Like I like the peach one and I also like the strawberry, but the coconut one is my favorite. I also have a mint one in my car. So this is just like a really like thick ointment type product that doesn't like disappear as soon as you put it on your lips. Cause that's the thing I hate about most lip balms. When you first put it on, you think this is bomb. My lips feel nice and nourished and moisturized. And then it's gone like three minutes later. This stays put. And I love it. It is multi-purpose, so you can use it in other, you know, areas of your body. I only use it for my lips, though. Next, I have a cleanser from the brand Vanna Cream. This is their Gentle Facial Cleanser. And this brand is really well known for being super gentle, free of, like, fragrance dyes, like, all things that people are allergic to. And I did like it. Did I love it? No, because I still felt like my skin wasn't very clean after using this. Did it break me out? Not at all. So if your skin is, like, extremely sensitive, then you would like this. I prefer something that still feels more like cleansing and like makes my face feel more clean. And I feel like this didn't clean my skin well enough. Back to body care, I have some body creams to talk about. And this is the Lalabo body cream. If you guys are looking for like just a bougie, ridiculously expensive body cream to try out, like if it's like a treat for a birthday or a Christmas, this is probably one of the best ones. The formula is top notch, it's very whippy. Not too thick, but it's not like too watery. I do think you get your money's worth with this one. And it just has like the best, very like clean, very like sophisticated, like masculine and feminine smell. It's really, really nice. So if you like vetiver, like bergamot, those kind of scents, you, you would love this. So I, of course, have repurchased this product and will continue to because it does not irritate my skin. It has avocado oil in it. It's just a really good product. And I do like the Lalabo brand, not gonna lie. Next is the Josie Marin Whipped Body Oil. This is their Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. And this is in the scent Pure Vanilla Bean. I like the Vanilla Bean and the Vanilla Apricot. It just depends on the season. I use this one during the fall and winter months. I will say the Vanilla Bean is a little bit lighter of a scent. The Apricot is more like prominent. So the Apricot I like for the summertime. If you're looking for a lighter scent, the vanilla one is the way to go. It's really good to layer with vanilla perfumes as well. Um, so I really, really love just the Josie Maron Argan Oil with body butters in general. I like the scented ones because they're not too much. Like I said, I like lightly scented body care. 
Um, this is really, really nice. It doesn't irritate my skin. Next is my favorite foundation. This is the NARS. Which one is this? NARS Soft Matte complete foundation i love this one i will forever use this foundation if you know how hard it is to find a foundation when you have skin of color and you have oily skin it's really really hard to find a good foundation because a lot of them that are for oily skin they're either like too thick and like it just feels cakey on this is like a really liquidy watery formula in the color i love the color this is marquise medium deep five this is probably the best color I've tried in a foundation. Other ones I've had to like make work for my skin, add concealer, it just do too many things to make it work. This is just great all on its own. Love that it like mattifies the skin, but also when my oils come through, it still gives like a nice finish. I obviously am wearing it. I've been wearing this foundation for about a year now. I have not been wearing another one. It doesn't break me out. It's just so so good and I love how travel friendly it is okay last but not least I'm gonna briefly get into some perfumes that I finished and if you guys are perfume collectors purchasers wearers all that you know that it's so hard to get through perfume so I feel very accomplished or it probably looks like I have way too many perfumes both are probably true okay so this first one here is the Hermes blue perfume Kelsey and I rave over this one this is probably the best like clean smelling perfume that lasts because a lot of like clean fresh perfumes do not last and this one will last until the end of time I'm telling you it's bomb it has like the best almost like a minty clean smell very like sophisticated and fresh and Hermes is a really really good brand if you're looking for like a new brand to try this one is really good and then the orange one is really good that I, I really love so I highly recommend this one if you're looking for a clean sophisticated almost masculine scent next I have my one of my favorite vanilla perfumes this is from the brand Altier Cologne this is their vanilla intense I think they're discontinuing this brand because they don't have it on Sephora anymore but if you see it at any other department store this is another one is top-notch it honestly smells like key lime pie like that whipped cream, like the cream that's usually on key lime pie mixed with like a hint of key lime. It's not fruity whatsoever, but it has like a dessert smell. It's not like that artificial vanilla, like cheap smell. It's just very like smooth and whippy. It's so, so good. I do have the big version of this, um, but if you can find it, I highly recommend it if you're a fan of vanilla, love her speaking of good vanilla fragrances this is the brazilian crush Chiroso 71 this is the caramelized vanilla and macadamia if you guys know this brand you know they are very known for that sexy like caramel like almost like overly cookie like smell if you're into sweet you would love this if you if you hate sweets this would be repulsive because i'm not gonna lie it's kind of intense but it's really good for pretty much all season because it has like a sexy scent for like summer but it also has like a nice warm like winter vibe as well it's really good and for this to be a body spray projection was kind of on point next is one of the brands that i was super excited to try and when i was looking for a perfume to try from diptyque this one kept coming up like when i was looking for recommendations and this is philosophos and every time i smell this I think of Italy because I brought this perfume to my Kelsey's Italy trip when we went last summer and I literally smell Rome every time I smell this perfume it just brings back so many amazing memories oh, it smells so good Philosophos is very fig based and it's very clean it has like a fruity clean smell so if you guys are into like fig perfumes this is a really good one to try um you have to spray more of this one on though because I feel like if you spray like three to four sprays you it's not gonna last you have to spray more on of this one which is kind of annoying because diptyque is not cheap but i do love this smell it's a really really very unique smell it smells like a leafy fig clean smell like a botanical garden of some sort like a like a tropical forest next i have one of my favorite bedtime perfumes that i was wearing for quite a minute this is Joletta from toka and Toka has so many different perfumes, but I feel like some of them can smell really generic. They're not bad, but they just smell really generic. This one is probably the most unique. I think it has like green apple. Um, I think it has uh, sandalwood. I could be wrong, but I for sure know it has green apple. It has like a baby powder smell, but with a hint of like crispy green apple in there. 
it's just very calming to me like if you're looking for a very calming clean fresh scent this is really really nice next is one that i would actually continue to repurchase I'm not gonna lie some of my perfumes like I enjoy them for what they were, but we're not getting back together, you know? It's like when you date somebody and you like them, but you it's just not there, you know? you like, it was good, but it's not. I'm not feeling it no more. That's how I get with some of my perfumes because I get bored really easily. Um, this one, though, it just does something to me, and it's so funny because it's called The One, and I always go back to Dolce & Gabbana The One. No matter how many perfumes I buy, this smell is very nostalgic. It reminds me of when I used to walk in Sephora and just spray on the perfumes and then just leave before I could actually buy anything in Sephora. I remember I would spray this on and just walk out and just like smell it on my arm all for the rest of the day. This has, I think, vanilla. I think it has peach. It has some really good notes. It's like an overall good signature scent. It's very warm, very sexy, very likable, very inviting. It's not like super intense. Um, so I feel like this is a very easy perfume to wear. So I love the one, so, so good. Next, I have Bubble Bath, which is like so, so good. It's like, if you guys know what the clean girl aesthetic is, this is her in a perfume. Very clean, very fresh, very girly with the hint of creaminess, creaminess and the dry down. It has like coconut milk, like once it dries down to your skin. But when you first spray it, it's just straight up like Dove body wash. Would I repurchase it? Hmm, I really don't know if I was obsessed to the point where I would repurchase it. Is it really good for like just to throw on and you don't want to think about it and know that you're just gonna smell good when you go anywhere? Yes, it's very like grocery shopping, Pilates kind of day. Next is one of my Pride and Joy perfumes. This is the Guerlain Mon Intense perfume, Mon Guerlain. Oh my gosh, this is phenomenal. If you guys like sweet fragrances, very feminine, very girly, sexy, sweet, so, so good. I love this perfume. I do have a backup. Um, I like the original, but the Intense, to me, is way better. If you guys are into sweet scents, love this. Like, this is just the epitome of a woman. And if you guys want to smell grown and sexy, this is your girl. Well, your woman. This smells like a grown woman. Like, this is so, so good. Next is also a very nostalgic scent. This is Lotus Pear from The Seven Virtues. And if you guys have ever smelled Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture, this smells pretty much just like that. Very juicy, fresh, a little bit of fruity, but it just smells like a juicy fruity. It doesn't smell crisp, if that makes sense. It's more like juicy. So, so good, but it has still a hint of freshness in there. So I loved this. It was really good for nighttime because I like this Seven Virtues brand for like nighttime. It's not too strong. Okay, so speaking of Seven Virtues, their best scent, in my opinion, is Vanilla Woods. When I tell y'all I've gone through like two of these already, which is a lot for perfume. This is phenomenal. It's very sweet, very sexy, but still woodsy. It's very much the name. You smell the vanilla. You smell like the woodsy notes. It's just really, really good. It's like an overall amazing perfume that everybody I think would like. Like it's hard not to love Vanilla Woods. Like everybody loves her. Another perfume that I enjoyed, but I will not repurchase this is Mojave Ghost, Mojave Ghost from Byretto. I love this line, but this just smells very generic to me. It's clean smelling, it's like powdery, but it's not unique or special. So I wouldn't repurchase this. It's just overpriced baby powder. A really good one was Midnight Fleur from Ness Fragrances. Ness has some really good scents. Although I feel like some of them don't last the way I would like on me. This one did do a really good job at like projecting really well on my body. So this one was probably by far the best as far as projection for me. Although I do like most of the scents, this one has really good projection, Midnight Fleur. It's very like sweet, fresh. It's like a good winter, like clean smell. So if you're looking for something that's clean for winter time, then you would like Midnight Fleur. Last but not least, I have three candles to mention, and this one, y'all probably don't recognize the packaging. No matter what packaging this is in, I'm probably gonna buy it. This is my favorite Bath & Body Works candle, and that is Vanilla Birch. Vanilla Birch is phenomenal. It's crisp, it's warm, it's homey, it's sexy. You can put it in any room. The notes for Vanilla Birch, if you're wondering, are white birch, Madagascar vanilla, warm sandalwood. Basically everything I like. I like vanilla. I love sandalwood. All the homey like 
warm, like sexy, intimate kind of smells, if that makes sense. Very inviting. Love, love vanilla birch. So if you guys are looking for a candle for your home to put pretty much anywhere except the bathroom, this don't go in the bathroom, but everywhere else, vanilla birch is where it's at. Then I have this Nest candle. Nest is a really good like high-end brand for candles because I know not all of them are worth it. Nest, however, is a really good brand. You just have to make sure you trim the wicks on these. Um, this one is Rose Noir and Oud. This is probably one of my favorites. I love Rose and Oud together. It just does something for me. It's very feminine, very sexy, very nighttime. I think that's the Oud in it and the Rose gives it like a nice like hint of floral. It's so, so good. I love this for the living room, like when you're watching TV. Every time I smell this, I just think I'm in Kelsey watching Selling Sunset because I remember we were burning this when we were like binge watching Selling Sunset. It smells so, so good. So love this one. I also love the Wild Eucalyptus and Mint one. Hands down the best bathroom candle. You will love it if you love like minty, fresh candles. That one is amazing, smells like a spa. But Rose Noir and Oud is very good for like the living space and last but certainly not least is this vs candle if you guys haven't tried victoria's secrets candles i highly recommend they are affordable but they are so so luxe as far as quality and this one hands down is probably their best one this is the coconut milk and rose candle this is their calm one i have uh two other ones i have the purple ones that you guys have probably seen back here and i have the green one which i think is the cucumber y'all this one though the calm one by far one of the best smelling candles I've ever smelled and that's not me being dramatic. I've tried a lot of candles. If you guys have seen my candle collection, you know this is bomb. Coconut milk and rose. I never would have thought that combination would be this incredible. It's very warm, sweet, a hint floral in there, almost like a little bit of fruit, like a peachy kind of smell almost like a packaging color like this really pretty peach frosted packaging love the packaging also so anywhere you put them in your house it looks really luxe and it doesn't look tacky like some of the bath and body works packaging they'd be doing too much this love i think these are like 25 dollars 20 bucks something like that they're just amazing i highly recommend the calm one though the other two are really good are they great not really but i will continue to repurchase this i have so many backups of this candle it's just bomb okay guys so that wraps up this very long video i hope you enjoyed i hope you're still here let me know if you have any of the recommendations that i mentioned today and i hope you try out some of my favorites that i talked about i hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about products for way too long and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.